And Hallie, you're in Manchester. You just spoke with Marco Rubio, someone who's seen a mm -hmm. recent rise in his polls, including the newest one from swing states. He's got three town halls today. He's pretty good at those town halls. How's he being received? Very well, Jose, frankly. Yeah, he is really relaxed at these town halls. He interacts with folks. He gets a lot of questions. He answers them. He also asks a lot of questions. Uh, so you see sort of a very uh, a very charismatic Marco Rubio at events like these. In New Hampshire in particular, he drew about 200 people to a house party last night. These are not, you know, Donald Trump-sized crowds. They're not Bernie Sanders-sized crowds, but they are where the campaign wants them to be at least this early in the race. October, obviously, they have several months to go. They talk about this, as several campaigns do, as a marathon, not a sprint. They know that they are in it for the long haul. Rubio really focusing on those four early states, including New Hampshire. He's in Nevada tomorrow, then back here in the Granite State after that. You talked about this surge, Jose, and that's true. In the recent polls, you've seen him up in the top three, the top four, even higher in some states. And Florida is really an interesting case, given that is where he will be up against his former mentor, Jeb Bush. He was asked about Jeb Bush in a media availability just a couple of minutes ago here at this internet company where Marco Rubio has been holding this important employee town hall and he said hey you know governor bush is still my friend he's not focused on the competition he wants to focus on running his own race i asked him about the possibility of joe biden hopping in too he says hey those decisions won't be up to me and i'm paraphrasing here he says he will run the race he wants to run which is focusing on sort of the new economy the the future what he calls the new american dream the future of where this country can go jose